Hi everyone and welcome to my next reading review. So this story is again one of my favourites. It is a rhyming book and uh, it has a great lesson and it shows children and everyone who reads it that everyone is different and everyone is good at different things. So this book is Giraffes Can't Dance and it is a really lovely book. This is one of the uh, 15th anniversary editions um, but there's so many different books you can get. There's like touchy feel books of this, uh, flat books. There's another one that's flat books. So there's loads of different types of this book. Um, so just pick what one is best for you and your family. And I hope you enjoy. Giraffes can't dance. Gerald was a tall giraffe whose neck was long and slim but his knees were awfully bandy and his legs were rather thin. He was very good at standing still and munching shoots off trees, but when he tried to run around, he buckled at the knees. Now every year in Africa, they hold the jungle dance, where every single animal turns up to skip and prance. And this year when the day arrived, poor Gerald felt so sad, because when it came to dancing, he was really very bad. The warthog started waltzing, the rhinos rock and rolled, the lions danced a tango which was elegant and bold. The chimps all did a cha-cha with a very Latin feel, and eight baboons all teamed up for a splendid Scottish reel. Gerald swallowed bravely as he walked towards the floor, but the lions saw him coming and soon began to roar. Hey look at clumsy Gerald, the animals all laughed. Giraffes can't dance, you silly fool. Oh Gerald, don't be daft. Gerald simply froze up. He was rooted to the spot. They're right, he thought. I'm useless. Oh, I feel like such a clot. So he crept off from the dance floor and started walking home. He'd never felt so sad before, so sad and so alone. Then he found a little clearing and he looked up at the sky. The moon can be so beautiful, he whispered with a sigh. <clears throat> Excuse me, coughed a cricket, who'd seen Gerald earlier on. But sometimes when you're different, you just need a different song. Listen to the swaying grass and listen to the trees. To me, the sweetest music is those branches in the breeze. So imagine that the lovely moon is playing just for you. Everything makes music if you really want it to. With that, the cricket smiled and picked up his violin. Then Gerald felt his body do the most amazing thing. His hooves had started shuffling, making circles on the ground. His neck was gently swaying and his tail was swishing round. He threw his arms out sideways as he swung them everywhere. Then he did a backward somersault and leapt up in the air. Gerald felt so wonderful. His mouth was open wide. I am dancing. Yes, I'm dancing. I am dancing, Gerald cried. Then one by one, each animal who'd been there at the dance arrived while Gerald boogied on and watched him quite entranced. They shouted, it's a miracle. We must be in a dream. Gerald's the best dancer that we have ever, ever seen. How is it you can dance like that? Please, Gerald, tell us how. But Gerald simply twizzled round and finished with a bow. Then he raised his head and looked up at the moon and stars above. We all can dance, he said, when we find music that we love. <laughs>